Hey guys, welcome to the Dreams Guy podcast. My name is John Thomas and I'm the Dreams Guy. I am going to take some time in this episode to answer a question from one of our viewers. So uh, Glory Ground is a username on Instagram. Sit in this question when we were asking for, for possible questions about our episodes. And this is the question. Can you have a dream within a dream from the enemy or from yourself? So we've got a couple different concepts for, for those of you that maybe are not as familiar with some of these concepts. One, uh, there are three basic sources of dreams, and, and we've got this. We, we can see them basically historically. We can see them biblically, and some of the church fathers talked about it. So Tertullian, one of, one of the early church fathers, wrote ch some church histories. He said that dreams, they can come from the enemy. They can come from the soul. Or, or those dreams that are prophetic and inspired by God must be understood as being from the voice of God. And so this, this understanding that there's three sources is a, a basic understanding of dreams that the church has held historically. And so when Glory Ground is asking this question, can they be from the enemy or the self? Because we've talked about having a dream within a dream and what that might look like when you're trying to interpret it from the Lord. When he gives you one of those but what about this? So that being established, now let's talk just a second about a dream within a dream, because that is an interesting uh, little concept, if you will. How, I, I'm just curious how many of you have actually seen the movie Inception? Uh, I found it a brilliant movie. It's not exactly the way the dream world works, but it, it, it was very entertaining and very interesting. But in that dream, there's a dream within a dream within a dream within a dream. And, and this concept that in, the, in that movie, that the deeper the dream went, the more foundational what was being communicated was. Now, that comes, the concept of that movie actually comes out of a Jungian philosophy of dream interpretation, so I wouldn't go there, but the idea of a dream within a dream and the inside dream being the deepest part is actually accurate. When you have a dream within a dream, that the inside dream needs to be understood first before you go to the outside dream. And God does, will sometimes do that. But can the enemy or can we do that? Yes, it's possible. It's kind of like someone writing a paragraph and putting something in parentheses. You can have anything in that paragraph. You can have revelation that's being shared. You could just have a made-up story. Or you could have someone that's saying something really wrong and really bad, or even evil. But the parenthesis within that paragraph, it's kind of like an aside. This is related to this. This is going to help you to understand what I'm trying to say right here and right here if you understand this parenthesis. That's the idea behind a dream within a dream. So yes, it is possible that you can have a dream within a dream that is a soul dream that we've ca caused ourselves to dream or that it can come from the enemy. But I will say this, it's very rare. I I've, I've only seen... I think one or two demonic dreams. I can't remember actually having heard any dream within a dream that, that came from the soul. I, I, it's possible that I have, and I just don't remember right now, but I can't, I can't recall any when I was thinking about this question. So I, I can't say from experience, but just from the concept, I, I don't see anything in the way that dreams work, understanding the concept of dreams that would say that that wouldn't be possible. So you, you would use the same test that you would any other dream to figure out if it was from the Lord, if it was from yourself, or if it was from the enemy. Usually the enemy is going to have less color, maybe black and white, dim, grayscale, that kind of thing. And then the atmosphere, the feeling of the dream is going to tend to be negative usually. Now, not 100% of the time because sometimes he likes to come as uh, pretending to be an angel dressed in light. But often it'll have that sense of foreboding or, or, or something's just not quite right that's there, especially for those that have the spirit of the Lord, when they have those dreams from the enemy. When they come from ourselves, there's that sense of familiarity. 
it tends to be maybe less less bright light that that are in those dreams there might be color but the colors are not the the beautiful vibrant rich colors but there there can be colors in there but they tend to be a little bit more dull maybe a little bit more washed out or, or just kind of plain or like low light uh, sometimes in, in the soul dreams. But there's often this sense of familiarity of, oh, I already knew that. I've already thought that. Oh, I was afraid of that. Uh, that kind of sense of, I already knew that. That's familiar in some way. Uh, I've, I, I expected that. I thought that. I wanted that. Those kind of feelings generally come with the soul dream. So just the fact that it's a dream within a dream doesn't stop it from being any of those. You would use the same process to figure out what the source of the dream was. So Glory Ground, I hope that that answers your question. Thank you so much for sending that in. And we will see you on another episode of The Dreams Guy. My name is John Thomas, and I'll see you then. Keep dreaming. <laughs>